six years of age and following a family tradition that's ten generations old. Mahmoud Atala has become the youngest pottery maker in all of Gaza. He started learning when he was four and now spends most of his school holidays working on the wheel. I love pottery. I will continue working in it. My father and grandfather teach me and I don't want to leave this pottery industry. Mahmoud's grandfather is sharing his skill and says his grandson is the youngest child he's ever taught. He learns very quickly. He saw his father working and when his father would have a break, Mahmoud would try and take his place at the wheel and try to work with the clay. It's very hard and not everyone can do it. Making pottery by hand is a dying skill in Gaza. Once there were as many as 40 workshops, now there's only a handful. This factory used to export to Israel and Australia, but with Gaza's borders closed, it can only sell to local people and demand is weak. In all of Gaza, there's only around eight people left doing this kind of pottery work. So what we have in this workshop is a very rare sight. Three generations of family. We have the grandfather, hard at work, and right by his side, his son, and right next to him, the very young Mahmoud. Mahmoud is already selling his simple pots for around 30 cents a piece, but he's not doing it for the money. His father says in another two years, his son will be able to turn much larger pots on the wheel and will almost be professional. He says Mahmoud isn't forced to make pots, that in fact he can't keep him away from the workshop. I would like my son to grow up and learn and complete his studies and go to university. At the same time, I would like him to continue improving his pottery. This is a Palestinian tradition. Being the youngest pottery maker in Gaza has given Mahmoud a lot of attention, but he takes it in his stride. It seems very little can distract this young artisan away from the will and his pot. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Gaza.